What's up, MVBs? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is doing well because today, checking out the Patreon poll winner of the week, and that is clearly Hail the Sun Domino. And, well, there's actually two winners this week because it was tied, so there's going to be a video for I Prevail, uh, Gasoline coming soon, that's the song. And, uh, yeah, with Hail the Sun, man, I like these guys. I've already listened to a lot of their music before. I've already kind of went through their CDs. And, yeah, these guys are sick, man. I'm glad this won the poll because I'm thinking I might do an album reaction to this. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see, like, a full album reaction. That being said, with these guys... You know, I'm expecting some frantic instrumentals, soaring kind of vocals, very post-hardcore sounding. So if you're into bands like uh, Cirque to Survive, The Fall of Troy, then you're going to really dig this. Or if you're not old like me and younger, then it, it, it kind of sounds like Dance Gavin Dance a little bit. So expect that kind of music. It's really good. Also, the drummer is the vocalist. And the drumming is insane. Same with the vocals. So keep that in mind. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. So let's fucking do it. Go. <laughs> Also, how sick is this shirt? Nick Nocturnal gave it to me, because he's a homeboy. Sounds interesting already. Yep. It's weird to not see him drumming. Did they actually hear a drum now? The lead and the rhythm is so mixed together, like, they're not higher volume-wise. I'll explain better later. Woo! Oh man, this is so Circus Survive, man. Woo! Holy shit! And then second verse with the acoustic, okay. Instrumentally, this is really tight. All band members. Even the bass is audible in the mix. I gotta say that there's more. I love that effect on the guitar, man. It sounds so watery. I can't even remember what it's called. We got funky in here. Cause you, when I brought 
That drama? <laughs> no, holy shit. Oh my god, dude. The structure's all over the place. Wow. Okay, man. You know, what I liked about it is that their music sounds like a little bit jumbled up. It sounds like all over the place. And some of these bands do like um, a lot like Birds, Fall of Troy, Circus Survive. Those kind of groups are all about these chaotic instrumentals where, you know, not necessarily the drumming is matching with the guitars or vice versa. You know, they're kind of going off and doing their own thing. And yeah, so this is a very busy song, like busy instrumentally. Guitar work was all over the place. Lead work was really good, but it, it's so hard to pick apart what's going on. And like what I was saying about the mix is so leveled out where the volume is the exact same for the rhythm and the lead, but the lead is in the right ear and the rhythm is in the left, but they're both like fighting for attention. And same with like the drumming and like the vocals, like there's a lot of stuff going on. And I think that's a big appeal to this kind of music and that's why I like it because I grew up with Fall of Troy. Fall of Troy is like one of my favorite bands. And uh, I love Circus Survive and I got strong, strong Circus Survive vibes from this. And I, I do from their music uh, generally. And it's when they go a bit more experimental and vibey, I get that Circus Survive vibe. So in, in that chorus, I, I don't even know if it was the chorus, man. Like it's really weird to say what part is like a verse or a bridge. Well, there definitely was a bridge. Um, chorus. I'm just going to say the vibey part where he does that call out in the beginning where he's saying something about love. That little pre-chorus, I'm assuming, okay, so it gets into the chorus, but that whole section is like very vibey. And lots of um, the effects on guitar had a lot of reverb at that point too, which reminded me of Circus Survive. That's the point I'm trying to make. And also, like, the effects on the guitar, like, holy crap, so many effects on the guitar, and I really like it because, like, uh, you know, I don't understand why I just, you know, just do clean setting or distortion. Like, you know, there's so many effects out there for guitars, and I liked all the different sounds that they were adding, and it didn't, for this kind of music that was as busy at it, as it is, those kind of effects work well. And, like, you know, say if it was, like, a more stripped-down song, um, you know, a bit more structured, but then adding a whole bunch of guitar effects, it that would seem a little bit more tacky, but since there's so much stuff going on, uh, that's why the gu guitar effects sounded as good as they did. And vocals are so good, man. They sound very Anthony Green-like. Always appreciate the vocals. And you know what? It's not, like, total Anthony Green just in terms of pitch. It's very high. Uh, but it has, like, a bit more poppy element in terms of how he's using his melodies and stuff. It just sounds a little bit more poppy and vibrant, I guess. Ooh, vibrant. I don't think I've ever used that word before. But yeah, it was kind of vibrant, and I liked it, man. There's lots of parts of the song I liked, and on first listen, it's hard to really pick it apart because it was very busy, like I was saying. But still, this is exactly the kind of hail the sun that I expected. Um, it sounds like the stuff I've heard before, so like I'm already sold. I'm already a fan of these guys, so this is just another sick song from Hail the Sun. I want to check out the album. I'm wondering if you guys want me to check it out. I'm assuming you do, but if it gets enough upvotes and comments, then <laughs> I guess I got to do it, man, because there's enough demand. So let me know in the comments down below. Spice up my life. Do you guys want me to do an album reaction? Let me know. Also, if you got to this point in the video, then I appreciate the shit out of you, man. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.